Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. It's Robin. Um, happy fall again. Okay, so I was going to continue showing you some of the previous projects, um, fall projects that I'd made um, that I never had shared with you, so I'll just continue on with that. Um, these are some little fabric um, candy corns that are painted, and I use them as kind of like bowl fillers or something to decorate. So I made those, and I told you that I had made some stacked pumpkins myself for my personal use that were painted with the little happy jack-o'-lantern faces on them. So sweet. I had some more of these, but I believe that I gave them to my mom, if I'm not mistaken. I'm so bad about making things and giving them, giving them away, never keeping anything for myself. I'm astonished that I still have this much stuff, but... Anyway, this is one that Susie had made for me that, of course, I kept. Um, and then she had made me, oops, she had made me this as well. And I thought you all would think that it was interesting because what it is is just, um, it was scraps from some trim that she had done. Um, like the, uh, I don't want to say bull nose. I can't think of what the name of it is, like you would put on a fireplace around or something like that, but this is just scrap wood. And then these are the little things that we can find at Michael's and stuff that are so cute, but I never really knew what to do with them, so this gave me a really good idea. Just super simple, but so cute. And then um, these are like, sorry. They have um, they have the spinach moss on them here. These are my little uh, fallen fallen critters, I guess you'd say. You know how I'd shown you um, in the previous video of the little gingerbread girl that I was making that looks like she fell? Well, this is my little version of a ghost. Um, and like I said, I'd seen a picture on eBay and Hopefully that's in frame. Yeah, you can see. Um, I'd seen a picture on eBay and looked at it and made it. But it's fabric, but then it's painted, so it's um, it almost has a leather-like feel to it. But um, there's this little fanny, it's a little fanny, like he's falling. And then I have a little scarecrow as well. That's here. And he's fallen as well. And of course, this one isn't painted. This is just all um, fabric and muslin and, um, oh, what is this called? Raffia. Raffia. That I use as his little arms and sticking out of his head. So there's that and that. And then, um, I don't do this as much anymore, um, but I used to embroider and do a lot of just really primitive, rustic looking things, but this is for, you place a candle on it, it's a candle mat, and so that was one that I still have. When I used to sell these, I couldn't keep up with the demand, so, you know, that's one of, those, one of the reasons why I had quit so many years ago selling because I just simply could not sit and sew like that. Um, let's see. Um, I think that was everything that I was going to show you. Um, yeah, I think so. I, the only other thing that I really have to show you, I don't really, excuse me just a second, I don't really have, hadn't been doing many hauls, but, um, I did stop at Michael's the other day and get some things, and I know that you all probably already seen these, but uh, I couldn't pass them up. They're the hot buy papers, and you've probably already seen them, but I just fell in love with them. So I'll kind of flip through for you to where you can see. There's the cut aparts for this one. Oh, and this one is called Burgundy Rose. It's Craftsmith. But for $5. I mean, you can't pass that up, and it's so pretty. 
There's another cut of our page. Oh, that was beautiful. Some stripes. And another cut apart. And this was just loaded full. As you can see, so there's that one. And then um, this one was the metallic full. And I feel really bad because when I picked this up, as you can see, it's like so. Um, there's actually two of these that are attached together. Can you see that? Um, and I didn't realize it. Well, I only pay for the one. So I feel guilty. When I got home, it said 24 sheets, and I was going through and was looking at it, and I thought, no, that's way more than 24 sheets, and I came, because I came to that, and I was like, oops. But anyway, it's really, really pretty, and it can be used for, oh, all through the year, but I was thinking especially for Christmas. And then, um, this one is the Sweet Mint, and oh, it's so pretty. It has a lot of cut aparts as well. I'll just real quickly scan through here. Hopefully you're getting a good view of it. This says, Life is full of wonderful. Some stripes. Pretty stripes. This is um, full. The dots are full. Cut apart banners. And then this is um, life is made of moments like this. So there's that one. Oh, and then this one, I would give in anything if I could have found one more of them because I had been eyeballing this for a while, but I really didn't have the money to buy the hot bag when they first started selling these. And so this was the only one that was left. And I went through every paper stack that they had, but I had been seeing um, hauls with this paper pad and about God that I had to have it. Um, but I know a lot of you have already seen it more than likely, but I am just in love with this. And I don't know that I can cut into it because I only have the one. I'd give anything if I had another one, but, you know, oh well. You snooze, you lose. Um, I thought that was so pretty. And look at that. Oh, it just, oh, I just love that. That pretty, and it has the butterfly. Oh, this is just yummy, yummy, yummy paper. That reminds me of candy. The teacups and the butterflies. Oh, love it. Polka dots. I mean, this is just, this is just a pad full of happy bird cages. Pretty roses. Gorgeous paisley pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me. Banners. Pretty roses with the full polka dots yellow stripes and this is like a buttercream so it's not you know it isn't um, bright yellow oh, just love it more butterflies can't have enough butterflies right and then that's just oh I just want to I don't know I love that absolutely love it so there's that one and it's called um, tea party so if you see it snatch it up it's beautiful and then I, I bought another one of these because they had them at 40% off and this is one of my um, I've used this paper stack before it's the Primrose by DCWV and they still had it at Michaels and I have part of one already but I kept making things for other people and never did use you know make anything for myself with it and I just I love the pad so um, 
and splurged and bought something to use for me. So, anyway, um, I think that's everything that I have to show you. I'm not sure if I'm over 10 minutes or not because I forgot to turn my stop my little stopwatch thing on. But um, just wanted to let you know what was going on with me. I miss you all really, really bad. Hopefully, I'll try to be more active and make more videos and not sure how long it's going to take for these to upload but hopefully it won't take too long to where I can talk to you guys so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing I have new subscribers and I've been inactive for a while I want to apologize for, to you all as well as my old subscribers um, like I said I'll try my best to bring some new things to my channel and all but uh, Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that everyone's having a great fall. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mwah.